One of the most versatile perennials for early and midsummer bloom has to be the Coreopsis. And Angelo, I yeah. think every landscape should have these. You bet, Mark. You know, the, you know, not long ago, we only had about four or five varieties. Sure. I think now we must have about 30. Well, look at you got the shorties now. You got yeah. the dwarf varieties now. Yeah, it, and that's about all that they will get in height. So and, that goes in the front of the border. And then we go all the way up to two and a half, three feet. Look at and look at the flower color. You got the little red and, uh, and the variegation of the foliage. This is Jethro yeah. Tull right and here. And what's nice really about these varieties that they start blooming early. Yeah. And they bloom all the way into the end of the year. Just make sure you fertilize them, and they they like a little haircut, right? Osmocote. And then what you need to do when they're about 75% bloomed out, yep. you don't cut them here, you cut them down way back. here. Way That's down. like two-thirds down. Way down. Okay. When you cut them way down, as long as you got Osmocote there, they keep feeding them on a continuous base. And within a couple you, weeks, they're back in bloom. Two morning. weeks, or right back up, and they will bloom for another four or five weeks. All right. You could have, if you want a perennial garden with color, yeah. no work. This is That's it. That's all you got to do. Thanks, Angela. Different foliage, different flowers, everything. Coreopsis. Coreopsis. Add some.